Hospitals in the Kyrgyzstan capital Bishkek are overwhelmed with patients suspected of having the coronavirus. Those diagnosed with pneumonia but who've not yet been tested for COVID-19 queue to be admitted. As far as I have seen, whomever you call, whomever you ask about, absolutely everyone is ill. Sometimes I think to myself, I wonder, is there anyone who isn't ill? People are panicking now. Since lockdown measures were relaxed in May, more than 8,000 people are reported to have tested positive. But doctors say the true number of infections is higher. A lack of testing and poor quality tests are two reasons why COVID-19 isn't being diagnosed or isn't counted as a cause of death. The most difficult period since the pandemic began is right now, maybe the last week or two, when the number of infections increased sharply. We've seen an increase in the number of cases of community-acquired pneumonia, even in patients who have a negative test result of COVID-19. Despite the increase in cases, the government says it's not considering a second lockdown. It's also admitted that pandemic-related aid received from international donors was used to pay the salaries of state employees rather than to strengthen the health system. Kazakhstan, the richest of the five Central Asian states, has also seen hospitals overwhelmed with COVID-19 patients. It's reintroduced some of the lockdown measures first imposed in March. The lockdown is needed, but I don't know how much it will help us now. I don't know what we need more, lockdown or saving jobs. Anyway, I think it should help, if it lasts at least two weeks, so that people stop having parties. A neighbouring country, though, continues to insist it's virus-free. The usually secretive Turkmenistan welcomed a 10-day World Health Organization mission on Monday, which will examine its response to the pandemic. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.